Okay, Scott, here's a question so many families have to face. What do you do when your child gets really sick? So many families struggle to help their child and still pay their bills. We want to introduce you to Kelly Ann Dolan. She was diagnosed with aplastic anemia as a toddler back in 1972. That her diagnosis introduced her family to a world of trauma and emergency trips, hospitalizations, separation, and spiraling expenses and exhaustion. As their little girl treated, they met their hospital neighbors, experiencing hardships and really tough choices. When Kelly Ann developed a rare form of leukemia in 1976 and then died three months before her seventh birthday, her family vowed to help others with a fund in their little girl's name. And for coming up on 40 years, they've been changing lives. So joining us this morning, her mother, Peggy Dolan, and also the co-founder of the Kelly Ann Dolan Memorial Foundation, Wendy Graham, the executive director. Thank you so much <laughs> to both of you. I thank really you. thank you for doing this and sharing your story. Thank you for the opportunity. I can't imagine going through this experience. What made you take that step and say, we just got it in our time of grief and at one of our hardest moments, do something to help so many other families? Well, we lived at the hospital, basically. Uh, she, uh, Kelly, was hospitalized frequently and for lengthy periods of time. And, and at that point, you begin to understand that a hospital, especially a children's hospital, becomes a community within itself. I always say it's the greatest equalizer of race and culture and socioeconomic background. But you really get to know other families and, and realize what they're going through and thank God for what you have to deal with because life might be easier for you. And I heard about families losing their job, parents losing their jobs and having cars repossessed, having uh, you know eviction notices arrive. And we just um, couldn't understand the extra added stress that it would cause families. We were just taking a look at some of the pictures from one of the events that your organization has had on the Spirit of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. What do you do with the money? How do you help these families? What are we doing? I'll ask you in. Um, yeah, so, you know, families have so many expenses related to a child's illness that aren't covered by insurance. It runs the gamut from utility bills or mortgage payment, maybe um, it's adapting a home. We just uh, last week helped a family, um, the child's in a wheelchair, and they had to have their doors widened in their house. I mean, these are things we don't even think about and take for granted, but those are the kind of expenses that come up that just, like I said, frankly aren't covered by insurance, and a lot of us don't have that extra income to, to afford. How many families have you helped over the years? Oh, uh, 27,000? 27,000? More than 27,000 yeah. families. <laughs> How does it feel to do that? Well, you know, we started the fund knowing what the need was, but not knowing how to go about doing it. And, and when I think about it, I had a tough time seeing the word memorial after my daughter's name. And for years, that bothered me. And about a year ago, I was writing something, and I wrote it again. And I thought, you know, the fund doesn't exist because Kelly died. It exists because she lived. And because she lived, we've been able to do this. And that gave me a better feeling, you know, about uh, what we were doing and how important it was to do what we do. And it was also a way, someone said to me one time, what a great way to remember your daughter mm -hmm. in talking mm -hmm. about the fund. And I thought, I don't, I don't need to remember my daughter this way. This was a way for us to give back because nobody goes through these traumatic, traumatic you know, situations without help from the outside. People came from all over to help us, would send cars and encouraging letters and uh, blood donors. My daughter was a blood user. Right. And she would be transfused anywhere between five to 15 times and a month. people that came to help with that. People donate blood and they don't know who it's going to. They just know it's the right thing to do. Uh, well, we can all help with this one. I'm very proud and honored to be a part of a wonderful event that you're going to have coming up very shortly. Mm -hmm. Wendy, when is it and how people can get involved? Um, we'll show you the information right now. Yeah, uh, so on October 9th, um, we're going to have our 40th anniversary event at the Crystal Tea Room here in Philadelphia. And if you go to our website at dolanfund.org, you can find uh, tickets and, and ways to help us. About how much does it cost? 
175 a, a person. Um, it's a very special occasion for us, 40 years. So we're really looking forward. We're glad that you're going to be there to celebrate with us. I will be there. I will be uh, hosting that event on that date. So we'll put that information right on fox29.com. Ladies, thank you so much for coming in. We really thank appreciate you. it. And thank we you really appreciate it. Thanks.